everyone today's video is just gonna be fun get ready with me I don't normally do chatty videos so I wanted to do like a more relaxed chilled vibe still not chatting that much because it's weird talking to a camera <laughs> but let me know if you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy so I've already prepped my skin with my favorite Nivea Men Post Shaving Balm. I love to use this if I'm going to use heavy makeup. And I've also gone in and already done my brow. So I'm just going to go in with my foundation. Um, I use a really light foundation just to go over my eyes and prep the area for eye makeup. Okay, so it's a good trick if you haven't got any eyeshadow primer. You can just use foundation or concealer, and then I'm going to go in with the powder to set that so it's easier to blend. So there are my eyes prepped. Now I'm just going to use my bronzing block from e.l.f. I like to use bronze shades because it's easier blend into your skin tone and I find they just blend really well. So I'm just going to go in and start carving out my crease because I have weak eyes very lightly. I don't know if you'll even be able to see that. I can see it, it's there. <laughs> But very lightly, just carve out where you want. I'm just using my MAC for that one. I'll actually see what it is because it's like rubbed off. You can see. I think it is a MAC 39. That's what I'm using to do this with because it's really, really thin and flat. You can see just about. I'll just do that on the other side. I'm just kind of blend it out. Here comes a transitional shade. Like so. Now I'm going to go in with a medium brown. And just go where the crease point is. Okay. When you blend, you just want to go back and forth, circle motions very lightly. You don't want to be dragging the skin. I am super excited as well because I have officially brought my London IMAX ticket. So excited! So you've never been before. I'm pretty new to the whole makeup world. I'm still studying my masters in makeup artistry. I'm really excited to go. So let me know in the comments if you're going this year and what you're excited for. I'm excited for all like these speakers. I can't wait. I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of black. I'm just going to build up some black in the outer corner. I don't want to bring it in too far. I'm just going to blend that with my MAC brush. I really want this to look controlled. I don't want to be blending too thick. Okay. I'm just gonna blend the top finding it out so it's not like a straight line. Okay, so it's a bit more blended. I think I'm going to 
going to take this shade. Yeah. I'm just going to blend that into my cookies a bit. Make a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm just going in with this colour here. Just going over the top of the crease. Just blend the orange a bit more into the crease line. Like a khaki shade. Blending really nice in there. Now I'm just going to go in with this nail colour at the top, just along the brow bone, just to blend that orange in and make it a bit more subtle. It's quite a harsh line at the moment. And I'm kind of gravitating towards this one here, pearly pale pink with some gold in there. Yeah, it's like a rose gold, a light rose gold. So as my eye is done using my Morphe palette. And now I'm going to go in with some character. I'm just put it on the back of my hand. It's so weird using my finger. <laughs> I never use my fingers for makeup really anymore. For my face. Because I want a really springy, radiant look. I'm going to go in under my foundation with the Sleek Fair Kiss Illuminator in Monaco. Really pink, really pretty. I'm going to excuse my dirty bubbly mud. I'm just going to put it where my highlighter will go over. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm obsessed since I got it. I used to wear the Infallible Matte that was in a tube like this as well, but I saw this come out and I grabbed it and I'm never looking back. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to pop this on my blending bird, like so, and then just put my base. This goes on so nicely. My new brush back. You can see it covers up so well. I love it. First foundation ever. And it's so affordable. Like, not well. So what's just like the redness here? It will disappear. It's like bomb. It's amazing. You're looking for like a high street or drugstore foundation with full coverage. This I'd highly recommend. You don't even really need concealer with it either. That's why I just use the colour corrector. Foundation lips. <laughs> so just to brighten my eye area up. I'm going to go back in with the same foundation that I used. Okay, so to brighten up under my eyes, I'm going to go in with the same foundation that I used over my eye area. So I'm going to go in with my Rommel Match Loose Powder I 
everywhere else I've like patted pretty much into the skin and I'm gonna leave my under eye around just to bake a bit. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. bronzer. I'm gonna use my fan brush. Sharp blue contour there. And we'll go in and do a natural contour as well. And we'll the whole area of bronzy. Contour is going to be more controlled here, whereas the bronze is all over my cheek. So I'm going to go now in with my NYX contour palette. You can see this has been loved for a long time because the hinge is off and you can see I've hit the pan on the highlighter and the contour shade that I used. You really need to get a new one. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with a thin fluffy brush and contour out. And you can see I just really concentrate on the outer edge. It's a more sharp effect. You do not need to bring your contour all the way down to your jaw. You can see my bones look higher now. A little bit goes a long way and is a lot more effective than tons and tons of contour. So now I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner. I haven't done that yet. That is my winged liner done. Look in this. Now I'm just going to go under my eye with the same colours that I done above. So first of all, we'll go into this one. Sorry if there's noise outside. The men have decided to come and cut the grass today. And then I'm just going to put a bit of dark. Okay, so after I just finished my eye makeup doing the underneath, my camera died. So I've just put it on charge. Whilst it's on charge though, I just popped on my false lashes. So I used the New Look Ultra Volume False Lashes. I love these false lashes. They're so thin and wispy. And they look quite natural, which I love. So yeah, I just popped them on whilst my camera charged, just so I've got enough to finish. So that is my eyes now done. I'm really happy with how it's turned out and I've done my winged liner. Looks so now I'm just going to add on some blusher. So I'm going to go with an orangey tone blusher. I'm going to use this one from my Sleek palette. I'm just going to pop that on the apples. Just add some colour back into our face. Beautiful! And we cannot forget about some highlight. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Peach Lights. This one, you can see that I love it because you can see the pan. <laughs> so I'm just going to get my fan brush and pop a bit of that on. I'm just going to pop a bit under my brows. Mm. You do love love this highlighter. Oh my god. It's amazing. I'm just down the center of my nose. And we can check that glow. I love this highlighter. I literally feel like Lightning McQueen. Anyone who has kids or loves Disney, you will know Lightning Queen from Cars movie, the way that he tilts and goes ka -chow! with his stickers, that's how I feel. ka -chow. <laughs> You can tell I have a son. <laughs> and then lastly, just to finish this look, I'm going to use my Sleek Shabby Chic, one of my favourite matte lipsticks, just to pull the look all together and add a bit of pink. 
I love the sleek of matte lips. So silky and sweet. I'm just going to go in with a bit of concealer. I think this colour reminds me so much of the Kylie Jenner Posey K, which I also love. Yes, that is my finished look. Um, time to put the wig So I've got my wig cap on. I'm looking very sexy. But like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> so, this is my favourite wig called Dainty. As you can see, it's very dark like a burgundy, she's very long and curly and um, she is beautiful, I love her, lots and lots and um, she was one of my first proper wigs so I'm just going to give it a brush, I use a tangle teaser I'm just going to brush her because she does tend to tangle underneath at the back okay, so she's all smooth and ready to go now, I don't use wig glue, wig tape, I use this. It's not glue, don't worry, before I get that, it's not good to put glue on your hair. It's, that's just the name. Okay, so it's got to be glue, it's a styling gel. It's waterproof, and once it sets, it's like rock hard. I've been out, a night's out, and it's been raining, or I've been out in town, and literally it's blowing a gale and my wig has not shifted. Um, this stuff is amazing, girl. You could be in a hurricane and this will not move your wig. <laughs> so we're gonna put some of this around the hairline. This is just how I do mine. Also helps keep your hair back in the wig because it's not good if you've got hair poking out. This is just how I do mine. I've had quite a few questions about how you put on wigs. I mean, if you'd like a wig video, let me know. I do have a wig coming in tomorrow, hopefully, um, a new one. So I can do a wig review and like go into more detail about wigs if that's what you'd like. Let me know. I have two wigs and I have another one coming, so that's three in total all lace front. Then I get the hair dryer and just on a cool setting, you don't want obviously it to be hot because it won't set, you're just going to blast where you put the gel just so it goes tacky. Okay so that's good to go, you want it to dry, um, it doesn't dry clear really um, so be careful, only put a little bit on, I have gone on a night out and not many people know, it was someone who is a friend, he knew I was wearing a wig and he actually came up to me and said, have you got a prick stick in your hair? Because I had like some blobs pointing, like poking out. So be careful, less is more. You just whack it onto where I think it is, grab the ear tabs and then I pull them down, pull the back right down. Then grab the ear tabs again, shift it to where you need it to be, and then lay it. This is literally how I do it. And then I just make sure the wig cap is poking out a little bit around the edge of the wig, because it can dig in at the back. I haven't got long enough hair, obviously, to clip it in. There is a comb in the back, but obviously my hair's not long enough. So the comb can dig in. Um, if you're wearing it, and just make sure you pull it over the sides of it. I mean, if you're just putting it over your hair and you have a similar hair colour, you can leave baby hairs out. But obviously, I can't do that because my hair's too short. This is my wig on. As you can see, I have plucked the hairline a bit just to make it more natural. And all I do is I go in with my NYX contour palette and use this powder and a mixture of the lightest powder and I just go over the dabbing just so it blends a bit more. Also if you're like me and have sideburns or a different colour hair, just find an eyeshadow that matches the roots. 
This has black roots. So all I do is I go in with some black eyeshadow. And if the wind blows, you can't really tell. That's how I put on my wigs. I'm gonna just play with it just to set it. I love wigs. Because I shaved my hair for Macmillan, um, if you're not in the UK, I don't know if it's only a UK charity, but it's basically a charity for people who are going through cancer treatments. Um, so I shaved my hair off with the Brave Shave. I raised just under £500 for them. And then I also donated my hair to a princess trust who make wigs for children who also go through cancer. So that is why I have really short hair now. <laughs> so I love wearing a wig because it just mixes it up a bit. And I just feel some days you just wanna go all glam and be like Kim Kardashian. So I like to have like a big glam wig that I can wear. But most days I tend to just wear my normal hair. Um, I've been dyeing it different colors and things. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you how I put my wigs on there as well. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to do. I'm so happy with how the eye makeup turned out. It's so pretty. And I love this lip color. It's perfect for spring. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to click thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you're going to IMATS because I would love to know who's going and let me know if you'd like me to do more of a detailed wig video. Um, any more suggestions or videos, I'll pop them down below. Also click around and click subscribe so you get all my new videos in your subscription box. And if you want to be the first to see my new videos, remember to click that bell that's below as well. Hope you enjoyed.